In this program, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at um, different ways that we can compare uh, string values. So there's a whole bunch of uh, string method tools that are uh, already programmed into the string library, uh, the string class, that will help us do all of these comparisons. So I've got a bit of a menu set up here, which you may want to pause the video and copy before we advance to the next step. Uh, but just to give you a general idea of the setup here, uh, you've got the scanner here because obviously there's going to be some user input. Uh, we've got our input text object here for handling text. We've got our input number object here, which will read in uh, number values so that they can make a selection uh, from this uh, menu here. So we're going to start with the uh, just heading, guess the word using string tools. Uh, of course, it's an exciting game, so use lots of exclamation points while you're doing this. And then we've got the menu here, um, little backslash and to get some spacing here. Uh, and uh, then we've got eight options. Uh, length, starts and ends with, contains, index of, last index of, compare to, and final guess that will uh, finish off the whole, the whole game. So hopefully when they've got it figured out, that's what they'll do. And then we've got a score remaining because we always want to display how much uh, score they have left. And then we'll prompt them for their selection at the bottom. Okay, so let's uh, get into programming this. So we're going to start with a score value. And let's start it at, a, at 100. Uh, every time they use a tool, we're going to reduce it by 10. Uh, and then we'll need a variable for the selection that they're going to make from the menu. Um, there are a couple strings that we need. Uh, we'll have the answer. And this is going to be equal to uh, any secret word is the answer that you want to, uh, you want to pick. Um, uh, I want some letter uh, repetition here. So I'm going to pick potato as my, uh, as my answer. And then we'll need a string uh, guess text here, uh, which is going to be any text value that the user is guessing. So it'll be a string. And then we'll have an integer for guess num, which will be any number uh, that they're guessing as well. So um, we've got our guess the word using string tools. And I want to put in a couple uh, protections here just to make sure that they're giving us a good number. So uh, the first thing that I want to do is underneath at the bottom where it says enter your selection, this is where we'll read it in. So the selection uh, gets the value of input num dot um, next int. So we'll use it for that. Uh, and then we need to wrap this in a do while loop because I want to make sure that they're giving us something, you know, within uh, this range. Uh, so uh, while the selection is less than one uh, or the selection is larger than eight. There we go. Uh, now what we want to do is we want to keep this going until uh, they run out of points. So we need another do while loop. Uh, so we'll add an extra do to the top. And then our additional while is we're going to keep this going while the score is larger than zero. Um, and what we'll do here is we'll tab this forward. Uh, because this is within the, uh, essentially this is the beginning and ending of the game. Um, if they get to the end and their score is zero or less, uh, we'll put an if statement to handle that. So if the score is less than or equal to zero, um, then what we're going to do is put a system.out.println uh, game over. So if they get to the end uh, and their score is zero, they've run out of points, then we will tell them uh, that their, uh, their game is over. Okay. So now uh, the next thing that we want to do 
we've got it. Uh, we've got out of this first section here with uh, successfully uh, number from one to eight. Um, what I want to do is I want to now uh, take off some points every time they make a selection, but not everything. So if the selection is less than eight, so we're not going to reduce the score um, when they make their final guess. We're going to have score minus equals 10. So we're going to reduce the score by uh, 10 every time. Okay, now we're ready to handle our menu. So uh, if selection equals one, it's gonna be a lot of copying and pasting in this. So uh, just make sure you're keeping track of where you are in the program. Okay, so what we want to do is we are going to give the uh, user an opportunity to try to guess how long the string is. Uh, so what we're going to do in here is, uh, whoops, selection, sorry, uh, system.out.print. Uh, let's say guess how long the answer is. Uh, and then we'll use guess num for this. Input dot next int. Oh, we gotta make sure that this is input num dot next int. There we go. <clears throat> and then uh, we'll give them a couple responses based on their answer. So if uh, the answer, now what we wanna do is we wanna compare their guess to how long the string actually is. So we're going to use the method dot length, which will return a number equal to how many characters are in it. Uh, so uh, if answer dot length is larger than guess num, then what we'll do is uh, we'll say that it is longer. So system dot out dot println it is longer. <clears throat> and we'll do a copy paste, turn this into an else, because it can't be simultaneously longer and shorter. So if it's less than guess num, we will say it is shorter. And then the last option here is, um, Uh, let's say that's the correct length. Perfect. Uh, so now when we run the program, uh, let's say we want to pick the length. Uh, let's say we guess it's four. It'll say, oh, it's longer than four. Let's try again. Uh, let's say seven, uh, oh, it's shorter than seven. I'm gonna guess six. Um, oh, look at that, I got it. Uh, so anyway, we can use the length to uh, figure out how long the, the word is, kind of ineffectively, but that's okay. Um, so, there we go. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we'll carry on for the other options. So. Lots of copying and pasting you can use to save yourself some time. So if the selection is two, what we're going to do is we will handle um, whether it starts with a string that they enter. Um, so just to keep my patterning, I'm gonna change my prompt here uh, to um, guess which letter the uh, the answer starts with kind of a weird guess but sure uh, and then this one is going to be a text value not a number value so input text dot next line um, now there are a couple problems that we could encounter here is we want to do the starting letter what if they give us something that is three letters long um, and that's where we can use length to help us out. There's two methods we're going to use here in our if statement. So if the guess text dot length um, 
is larger than one, or uh, guess text dot is empty. So this is a new one, uh, which evaluates to see if it's empty. Uh, so we would get a true respond there. Uh, what we'll do is we'll say that their uh, their entry is invalid. So uh, I'll just say invalid entry. Keep it really generic because we're going to be reusing this for uh, for a few other inputs. Um, and then otherwise, we're going to check to see if it actually does start with that thing. So otherwise, else if answer dot starts with guess text, uh, then what we'll do is system dot out dot println. Uh, it does. And then otherwise, uh, we'll just leave this as an else because we can. Because it, if it either, if it does contain it, the opposite of that would be it doesn't. There we go. So this is the entire option two. Uh, I like to test a lot, so let's make sure that this is uh, working. So I'm going to pick option two. Which letter, uh, guess which letter the answer starts with uh, T. Uh, oh, it doesn't. Uh, let's try that again and do a P. Uh, and we see, oh, it does. Um, so I'll stop that. And we're going to essentially repeat this exact thing for ends with. So copy your whole selection to, paste it underneath, and then this is going to be if they picked three. So guess which letter the answer ends with. We're still reading this in. We still want to make sure that it's one character. So we're just changing starts to ends. There we go. And then that one will work just fine. OK, so let's take a look at what number four is. Number four is contains. So this is going to tell us whether the, the text that they give us exists somewhere in, uh, in our answer. And I'm going to cut it off to three characters at the most. So it's actually going to be really similar to our option three here. So we'll put in, this is if they picked four. Uh, so if they picked four, we're going to say, guess which string uh, the answer um, contains. Uh, we'll do maximum three. There we go. So we're still using a lot of this, except obviously we have to uh, increase the, uh, the maximum here to three. And what we're going to do here is we're going to check to see if it contains. So if answer dot contains uh, whatever they enter, we're going to say it does. Otherwise, it doesn't. Keep that pretty similar. OK, moving along, uh, we're going to go to uh, number five which is index of. OK, uh, so what we're going to do for this one, just slightly different. Um, so for this, if, else, if, selection is 5, what we're going to do is we're going to give them the Prompt, and I'm going to go up to my length one to get this. Uh, so we're changing the prompt to uh, find out the first location of a letter. Okay, and then we'll have them. Uh, oh my gosh, why did I put guess num here? Um, this is still a guest text, and I want to make sure that it's one character. So I'm going to grab this. Uh, 
So uh, guest text is going to get the value of input text dot next line. We still want to make sure that it's only a single letter and that it's not empty. So that'll still give us an invalid uh, response. Now this is a little different. So else if answer dot index of uh, guess text is larger than negative one. So um, index of gives us a negative one if whatever we're searching for doesn't exist. Otherwise, it'll give us the actual position of it. So then what we're going to do is we'll give them a response. So system.out.println um, it is in position and then we'll add on the index of. There we go. So we actually want to uh, display that number. Otherwise, um, we'll do a system.out.println. It is not in the answer. I just want to check in, see how everything's going here. Okay, so if I wanted to do the index of, uh, what I would do is I would check to see uh, for the letter T, it would give us location two because it finds the first one. So potato P O T, uh, it goes zero, one, two. So it gives us position two. So everything seems to be working uh, just fine so far. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing for number six, except we're gonna change the first two last. So find out the last location of a letter, uh, and then we're going to um, change index of to last index of. I've used this before when I am, uh, say, going from uh, the end of a string backwards. Um, I, I have had to use this in the past. So um, that is selection six, and we're good. So now we've only got two more to go. Um, else if selection equals seven. This is where we'll get our, uh, our comparison using compare to. Uh, I'll use the first two lines here for my prompt to save some time. And this one will say, enter a string to compare alphabetically to the answer. Okay, so we're gonna compare whatever they type into the answer. Um, and now we don't need all of this. Uh, we want to make sure they typed in something. So the length doesn't matter, but we want to make sure that they didn't give us nothing. So we'll say um, invalid entry. Now the la next thing that I want to do, else if answer dot compare to uh, guess text is larger than zero. Um, because remember this does like a subtraction between the values of the two uh, strings to find out alphabetically which one is higher. We'll do system.out.println. The answer is alphabetically larger. So this will happen like if we enter uh, apple, uh, potato is higher up the alphabet, so we'll say it's alphabetically larger. Uh, and then we'll also reverse this for smaller, smaller. I mix these up all the time because I can never remember like uh, whether the result is gonna be positive or negative. So this is often a place where um, you might need to try it out and then uh, make sure that it's working the way you, uh, you expect it. Um, so the only option left available here is otherwise, uh, they're the same. 
Um, and we'll just say they are the same. Exclamation point. Oh yeah, this is an exciting game. I gotta keep my exclamation points going. There we go. Um, so our last thing that we're going to do is we'll check to see if they got it right. So else if selection equals eight, then what we're going to do is we are going to uh, prompt them for their final guess. So I'll use these first two lines here. And I will say, enter your final guess. Okay. So our responses here is uh, equals will tell us if it's true or false. So if answer dot equals um, the guess text, uh, then what we're going to do is uh, we will put system.out.println um, congratulations, um, you win. Otherwise, uh, we will say uh, that you lose. Oh, you know what? Let's put their score here too. They'll, they'll want to know their score. Um, so put in your score is, and then we'll add on the score here at the end. Okay. Um, otherwise, uh, we'll do system.out.println. We'll say incorrect. And we'll reduce their score to zero. Uh, and then we'll just let things go. So running the program for one final check here. Oh, uh, compare to guest text. Um, oh, I have uh, some parentheses missing. Um, there we go. It accidentally snuck out the other side. There we go. That's wait a second, this one is still wrong. There we go. Um, so we'll run that again. Hopefully I don't have any more errors, but you never know. Uh, let's, oh, it caught up. Okay, final check. Fantastic. All right. So what I'm going to do is just to check those last ones, if I want to do a comparison and then I'm going to pick apple, it'll say the answer is alphabetically larger. Potato is further down the alphabet than apple. So that's correct. Uh, if I try that same thing again and put in watermelon, uh, then it says the answer is alphabetically smaller because it's further up you know to the beginning of the alphabet and then oh based on those two clues i think i've got it i'm going to do my final guess here my final guess is uh potato and it says incorrect because i've got the e here at the end uh, if i run it again uh, I'm just going to do um, some random thing. Let's guess that wrong. Uh, oh, I think I know what it is now. And I put in potato just like it's written. Uh, oh, it says you win. Uh, your score is 90. So the one thing I just realized that I should do here is we're also going to incorporate a break. There we go. So now, no matter what they do in Selection 8, it's going to stop the program. So anyway, this is a, a pretty long uh, example of how all of these different ways of comparing strings are, and you can use them in so many different ways. Uh, so you may want to refer back to this program when you're trying to figure out how to do this in the future.